His strength um, is that he has a, a way of phrasing things that is unique in history. Uh, he is an orator. He is a writer. He knows what, uh, how to bring a message across. Um, he is a, 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 a living human being. Um, he's a man of the people. Um, so I think that is, if we look at it from the human side, that is his achievement. Then when it comes to his message, you know, that's, that's a combination. His rediscovery that the message of the gospel is not that we as human beings have to make ourselves acceptable to God, but that to say it in maybe a little strange way that God has made himself acceptable in Jesus Christ to us. So what I call the U-turn in theology, in the combination with this man, that, that is unique in history. Uh, so I think that is, that is his strength, the way he could phrase it. So people came, you know, these table talks, the, the, the place was full in, in Luther's house, this old monastery, and no one dared to say anything because he kept talking and talking and talking. That is also his weakness. So he just said too much. So when I read Luther, I say, well, man, now you stop because you're going off track. You're starting to offend people. Stick with your positive message. Um, so that his, his strength, I think, is also his weakness. There are a few things, uh, maybe a lot of things, that he should not have said. Uh, people told him, but he, he, kept, on, he kept on going.